A single finger bone rewrote everything we thought we knew about human history. In 2010, scientists found this tiny pinky fragment in Denisova Cave, Siberia. When they sequenced the DNA, it didn't match Neanderthals or us. It was something entirely different, a whole new branch of the human family, the Denisovans. At first, it seemed like just a weird genetic blip, but then came the teeth. One massive molar from the same cave, another just as big found high up on the Tibetan Plateau. And more recently, a huge skull uncovered in China, nicknamed the Dragon Man. For years, no one knew what to make of it. Now, it's Denisovan too. And here's the kicker, every single fossil is huge. The skull is way bigger than a modern human's. The molars are twice the volume of ours. Even the finger bone is thick and strong. When you scale those proportions to a full body, you get a being over seven feet tall, massive and powerful. So why are scientists still trying to say they were average sized? We accept three foot tall hobbit humans like Homo floresiensis, but giants? No way. Thing is, nearly every ancient culture talks about giants. The Nephilim, red haired giants, temple builders, massive beings lost to time. And now, with the Denisovans, we just might have the bones to back those stories up. If archaeologists can find a femur bone that's significantly larger than modern humans, that would prove they were giant. Until then, scientists will assume the Denisovans were shorter than average humans today, even though all bone fragments found so far were significantly larger.